everybody, it's Miss Ward and Lavender, and today we have a special guest. My daughter's gonna help us with reading a book. Say hi to everybody, Rosie. Hello. Um, so today is lesson three for what spins. Let's get started. So far for this chapter, we've been working as sky scientists to help our buddy Sai figure out why daytime changed to nighttime while he talked on the phone with his grandma. Let's go ahead and look at our sky mural and see what we notice about where the sun was in the sky when we made our morning observations and where they were when we made our afternoon observations. Let's go over and look at our sky mural. So when you guys are looking at our sky mural here, what do you notice about where the sun was in the morning compared to where it was in the afternoon. What do you guys notice? Go ahead and tell me. All right, my next question is, if you can. So can you use what we know about where the sun was in the morning and the afternoon to predict? Where do you think it ended up being in the evening? Where do you think it was? Go ahead and point right to the screen. Where do you predict it was? All right, let's see what we came up with. All right, so at about 7.30 uh, last night, I had my husband go out and point to where the sun was in the sky. I actually did it right after dinner. Um, would you say he's pointing to very low, low, medium, high, high, or very high? What do you guys think? Me and Lavender had a disagreement about this. So, uh, you know, any answer is okay for this one. I thought it was low. She thought it was very low. And then, so I sketched what I saw in the horizon and where the sun was. And this was at 7.30 in the evening. Were you guys able to make evening predictions as well? What do you notice about where the sun was in the sky in this evening? What did you guys notice? So my next step is going to be to put my paper sun on the sky mural um, to show where the sun was in the evening. So let's remember where I put it um, in the sketch and see if we can figure out where to put it on the mural. I went back to this slide so we can remember what part of the horizon um, my husband was standing in front of and just exactly where the sun was and where it was in the sky so that we can Go ahead and put it on the sky mural. So let's see if we can figure out where it goes. So let's see. We're looking for, oh, I think I have to back this up a little bit. Back up, back up. All right, let's see if we can figure out where, where are we gonna put, where are we gonna put our evening, Sun. So was it very low, low, medium, high, high, or very high? Yeah, I thought it was low. And where was Mr. Fisk standing? Chicken coop, basketball hoop, tall trees. I'm hiding it, right? Yeah, he was over here by the orange house, right? about what's happening here with the sun in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. Do you guys notice a pattern at all? I'll let you look. What do you guys notice? By looking at our sky mural just now, we realize that the sun looks like it's in totally different places in the sky at different times. 
Now that we know that we see the sun in the sky in different places at different times, now we need to figure out why we see it. Um, why do we see the sun in different places in the sky during the daytime and then not at all during nighttime? So we know the sun moves, but we don't know why it looks like the sun is moving. So you guys remember my daughter, Rosie, she's going to help us with reading our book, What Spins. And this book is going to help us figure out why it looks like the sun is moving and how something can look like it's moving, even if it's not. Okay. And remember what we're doing right now is we're reading as scientists to help us answer questions. So it's going to help us answer that question of why the sun looks like it's moving across the sky. Okay. So what do you guys notice about the cover of this book before I even get started reading it? What do you notice about the cover? Go ahead and tell Rosie and I what you notice. Rosie, what do you notice about the cover of the book? Uh, well, I see a carousel, and what I know about carousels is that they spin. Yeah, did you guys know that carousels spin? Let's get started. What spins? The ride spins. Earth spins. The ride starts and stops. Earth is always spinning. It never stops. The top spins. Earth spins. The top spins quickly. Earth spins slowly. It takes a whole day to spin around once. The fan spins. Earth spins. The fan hangs from the ceiling. Earth spins in space. I'm going to ask you guys questions on this next page, and I want you to go ahead and answer. Go ahead and tell me what you think. Do you ever spin? What happens when you spin? What do you see when you spin? The kid spins on the tire swing. The spinning kid sees a bench. Then he sees a slide. Then he sees some trees. Then he sees his friends. Rosie and I are gonna go ahead and read the rest of this book to you. And I want you guys to be thinking about um, your predictions about how this book is gonna help us answer the question about why the sun looks like it's in different places. Okay, so I want you guys to think about your prediction about how this book is going to help us answer this question about why it looks like the sun is in different places. Okay, then he sees the bench again, then he sees the slide again. What will he see next? Let's see, bench, slide. Hmm, was it his friends or the trees? I forget. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a pattern though, right? Yeah. He sees the trees again. There's a pattern to what he sees. Earth spins. Does a person on Earth see a pattern? A kid on Earth looks out at the sky. She sees the sunrise in the morning. At lunchtime, she sees the blue sky. Hey, Rosie, do you notice what's happening with the sun out the window? It looks like it's moving. At bedtime, she sees a group of stars. She sees a different group of stars in the middle of the night. What does she see the next morning? What do you think she sees the next morning? What do you guys think? She sees the sunrise again. There is a pattern to what she sees. We see the sun in different places during the daytime. We see the stars in different places during the nighttime. We see these patterns because Earth spins. Rosie, do you mind staying and helping us make some observations while spinning? Sure. Let's get started. So we learn that what we can see can change because we're spinning. So we're gonna try spinning our bodies to see what we observe in front of us while we spin. 
So I want you guys to go ahead and stand up and spin around slowly. Rosie's going to show you how to spin slowly, okay, in a circle a couple times. I want you to go ahead and spin, 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 nice and slow like Rosie's spinning. Pay close attention to what you observe in front of you while you're spinning. Go ahead, spin one more time. What do you observe in front of you while you're spinning? Thanks everybody, thanks Rosie. Okay, were the things that you observed moving when you were spinning? Rosie, were the things that you observed moving when you were spinning? Uh, no, I don't think they were moving. Okay. We observed different things as we spun. The things we observed repeated over and over again in a pattern. So our observations were a lot like what the kid on the swing in what spins observed. We're going to practice spinning our bodies again. This time, focus on observing just one thing and we'll spin just a little bit at a time. Okay, you guys ready? Spin along with Rosie. So we'll focus by observing the screen. So you guys should be looking at me, face the screen. Okay, where do you see the screen? Point to it. Now spin a little bit to the left. Keep your head facing the same way as your body, just like Rosie is in the back. What do you observe in front of you now? Where do you see the screen now? Point to it. Okay. Spin a little bit more. Keep your head facing the same way as your body. What do you observe in front of you now? Can you see the screen? Rosie, can you see the screen? No, not really. Spin a little bit more. What do you observe in front of you now? Where do you see the screen? Point to it. Spin a little bit more until you're back where you started. Where do you see the screen now? Go ahead, point to it. So where did you observe the board when you were spinning? Rosie, can you tell me where you observed the board when you were spinning? Well, I saw it when I was facing forward, and then I could see it in the corner of my eye when I was facing that way and that way, but I couldn't see it when I was turned all the way around. What about you guys? Where did you observe the board? So here's my next question is, why did you observe the board in different places? Go ahead. You guys go ahead and tell Rosie and I, why did you observe the board in different places? Thanks for helping us with that, Rosie. Yeah, no problem. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Okay, so that's the end of today's lesson. If you can get a copy of What Spins, um, I'd like you to go ahead and read that book again with a partner, okay? And while you're reading, make those predictions again, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.